so tonight we're looking at uh, parables parables of Jesus what is a parable we're going to be looking at what parables are why did they speak in parables why was his teaching in parables who are the parables meant for what is the impact of that parables in understanding the scriptures so let's start uh, have you heard of the word allegory before allegory is a is a symbol jesus communicated the gospel of the kingdom to of God to his followers with the use of symbols in his teachings. He used parables which are symbols in stories told by him. So we want to find out why parables? Why parables? Because in most of his teaching you will see that uh, he spoke in parables and uh, to further substantiate his uh, teachings. Open with me Matthew 13. Matthew 13, I read verse 33. Another parable he spoke to them, Jesus, another parable he spoke to them, the kingdom of heaven is like leaven, which a woman took and hid in three measures of meal, till it was all leavened. The kingdom of heaven is, he spoke to them in parables saying the kingdom of heaven is like a Leaven. I must have quoted that. I meant to say, pardon me, I meant to uh, read verse 34. Because we're just looking at why parables. Verse 34. All these things Jesus spoke to the multitude in parables. And without a parable, he did not speak to them. So we are looking at why parables. Number one, he spoke to them in parables to sow seed. He spoke to them in parables to sow seed. We understand that the word of God is seed. So Jesus spoke to them in parables to plant seed of the word of God. He planted seeds in the minds of people that heard his word in the hope that this seed will grow and will later uh, be harvested at the right time. Take for instance John chapter 2 verses 18 to 22 to show how Jesus planted the word in the heart of the people that heard him so that later on that word will explode. That is, will germinate in them and produce fruit. In John chapter 2 verses 18 to 22, So the Jews answered and said to him, What sign? Do you show to us, since you do these things? Verse 19, Jesus answered and said to them, Destroy this temple, and in three days I will raise it up. We are looking at an allegory, allegory, symbols being used here. Destroy this temple, and in three days I will raise it up. Next verse. Then the Jews said, 
it has taken for the six years to build this temple and will you raise it up in three days verse 21 but he was speaking of the temple of his body see the symbol there he was speaking of the temple of his body verse 22 therefore when he had risen from the dead remember why parable is to sow seed so that later on this seed will grow and explode at the right time so verse 22 22 now says therefore when he had risen from the dead his disciples remembered that he had said this to them and they believed the scripture and the word which jesus had said so we can see the the, the first reason there why he spoke in parables that the seed planted will later explode in them to bring forth fruit and understanding let's go to matthew 13 verses 10 to 13 matthew 13 verses 10 to 13 the scripture says there and the disciples came and said to him why do you speak to them in parables he answered and said to them because it has been given to you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven but to them it has not been given it has been given to you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of God Another word for that mystery is it's an enigma, secret. It has been given to you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. But to them it has not been given. So you can see now that parables are means by which the secrets of God is revealed. So number two. But then, this secret that is revealed is not revealed to some people. And why is that? To protect God's secret. He did not reveal it to some people. So number two is to protect God's secret. God reveals his secret to those who he wants. As you know, in Deuteronomy 29, 29, the scripture tells us about God's secret. It tells, tells us that the secret things belong to the Lord our God, but those things which are revealed belong to us and to our children forever, that we may do all the words of this law. So God gives access to his secret to those who will do his will. And he did not give it to some because uh, they would disobey his word. So he gave it to those that will obey his word. And he did not give it to those who will not obey his word. So God keeps secret so that those who are unbelieving, he keeps his secret from them. He keeps his secret from them, but he gives it to those who are believing. He keeps his secret away from those who are unbelieving so that they will remain in the dark. So God has secrets which only him allow certain people to know and stops others from knowing it. Verse 11, he answered because it has been given to you to know the mysteries of the kingdom but to them it has not been given so god gives the revelation of this secret but who he gives it to and who he does not give it to is in his own remit is the one that decides that and look at verses 14 to 15 and in them 
the prophecy of Isaiah is fulfilled, which says, Hearing you will hear and shall not understand, and saying you will see and not perceive. For the hearts of these people have grown dull, their ears are hard of hearing, and their eyes they have closed, lest they should see with their eyes and hear with their ears, lest they should see with their eyes and hear with their ears, lest they should understand with their hearts and tongue, so that I should heal them. So God gives it to those he wants and does not give it to those to, to, to others he keeps his secret from them one writer wrote the power of God's word is such that it can reach those at whom it is hemmed and still be hidden from those who are not receptive to it so God's word God's word the power of God's word is such that it can reach those that word is meant for. Whereas other people that the word is not meant for will hear, but they will not understand. And that is what that parable tells us. So number three, why parables? Is to fulfill prophecy is to fulfill prophecy as you can see there in verse 14 and in them the prophecy of Isaiah is fulfilled so even Isaiah prophesied that there will be some that will not be receptive to the word of God but in verse 34 of the same chapter, all these things Jesus spoke to the multitude in parables, and without a parable, he did not speak to them. The point I'm referring to is verse 35. Why did he, why did he not speak? Why did he speak in parable? That it might be fulfilled which was spoken by the prophets saying I will open my mouth in parables I will alter things kept secret from the foundation of the world so number three why why parables is to fulfill prophecy because verse 35 says that it might be fulfilled which was spoken by the prophet saying i will open my mouth in parables parables were foretold even before jesus came they were foretold and jesus came and fulfilled what has been foretold so i believe that was one of the reasons why he spoke in parables is to fulfill prophecy to fulfill prophecy because parable contains secrets it says there i will open my mouth in parables and you see jesus fulfilling prophecy he spoke in parables parables are enigma they contain the secrets of god and as in paul also wrote written in romans 15 verse 4 Romans 15 verse 4, Paul wrote, say, what, For whatever things were written before were written for our learning, that we through the patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. So if parables were foretold by the prophet of old, and if parables were written for our learning, if you understood parables, therefore, they will give you hope. 
said they were written. Those things that were written were written for our learning. So we learn from the parables that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. So when we, if you understood parables, they will give you hope. Mark chapter 4, verse 13. Mark chapter 4, verse 13. And he said to them, do you not understand this parable? He was speaking to those around him with the 12 disciples. As you can see in verse 10, those are the people that he was speaking to. Do you not understand this parable? How then will you understand all the parables? So Jesus expected those around him with the 12 to understand this parable. See? This parable. That's the parable of the sower. And if they can understand this parable. Then they will be able to understand all the parables. So that means that all the, all the parables do not carry the same weight. Isn't it? So this parable, which is the parable of the sower, appears to be the key to all the parables told by Jesus. So if you understood this parable, you will understand all the parables. So number four reason why parables, why did Jesus taught in parables, is to enrich our understanding of the word of God. Is for a richer understanding of the word of God. Psalm 119 verse 144, the second part of that verse. Even David said, give me understanding and I shall live. A man of understanding is lively. Give me understanding and I shall live. A man of understanding is spiritually attuned to God. This is was why, this is what parable does. Jesus spoke to his followers in parables to enrich their understanding of the word of God and makes them lively. So when you and I understand the parables, it makes us, it enriches us our understanding. 1 Peter 2 verse 5 1 Peter 2 verse 5 You also as living stones are being built up a spiritual house a holy priesthood to offer up spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God through Jesus Christ You also as living stones are being built up a spiritual house, a holy priesthood to offer up spiritual sacrifices. Living stone becomes a spiritual house. A spiritual house is a, a priesthood, a royal priesthood, a priesthood of God to offer up spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God. And this is what understanding brings to us through the parables told by Jesus Christ. It gives us, it enriches our understanding. Psalm 78 verses 1 to 4 also tells us what was said by the prophet of old as echoed earlier on. Psalm 78 it says there, verses 1 to 4. Give here, give here, O my people, to my law. Incline your ears to the words of my mouth. 
I will open my mouth in a parable. I will utter dark sayings of old. Dark sayings of old. See, those things are the secrets of old, which we have heard and known. And our fathers have told us, we will not hide them from their children, telling to the generation to come the praises of the Lord and his strength and his wonderful works that he has done. Number five, parables. Why parables? They are praises to God. Telling these parables to our children is the show of praises to God. And this was why Jesus taught his followers in parables. To give praises to God, said, from one generation to another, verse 4, we will not hide, we will not hide them from their children, telling to the generation to come the praises of the Lord. We will not hide it. We will let our children know about this. They give praises to God. And his strength and his wonderful works that he has done. So this is just a, a, a kind of a taste of what we'll be looking, we shall be looking at subsequently. We shall be looking at each of the parables said by Jesus to enrich our understanding of the word of God. So this is pleasing to you you please uh, do your studies on it and then let's always ask questions to know better what God is saying to us through parables it's always interesting that uh, he has given some understanding to I mean he has given them the ability to understand these mysteries see but to others they will hear the same thing they will hear the same parable but they cannot identify with it because to them it has not been given the ability to understand the mysteries and these mysteries are the secrets of god so we understand the secrets of god through parables and that was why jesus spoke many times in parables to further enrich our understanding of the word of God. He allows us to know the secrets of God, the mysteries of God. He brings us to that, gives us the insight, a better insight of the mysteries of God. And uh, parables also are the fulfillment of the prophecy of hold. That have been said and so jesus christ fulfilled prophecy by speaking in parables parables also protects god's secret and keeps that god's secret away from some or reveals that god's secret to ross his children and why parables he spoke in parables to sow the word of God with the hope that it will grow and then later explode at the right time. That's why some things you may not understand it now, but later, because you put your heart to understand it, you, you keep asking questions to understand it at the right time, it now explodes. Praise God. This is the title for tonight, Why Parables? So we're going to ask questions 